A gunman opened fire, killing a Richardson police officer and another person. That officer was responding to a call at an apartment complex in Richardson. Shannon Murray, live with the latest on the investigation. Tim and Lauren, police are still here on scene this morning. We've seen investigators coming and going through the entrance here at the apartment complex, including officers from Plano Police here assisting the Richardson Police Department. Two people were killed in last night's shooting. One of them, a man here at the apartment complex, the other, a Richardson police officer. Last night, officers initially responded to a disturbance call around 730 at the Breckenridge Point Apartments on East Renner Road. When police arrived, they say the man started shooting, hitting a Richardson police officer who died at the hospital. A source tells Fox 4 he was shot in the neck. Police say another man at the apartment complex was also shot and killed, but we do not know how he was involved. The shooting led to an hours long standoff as neighbors stood by and watched. Oh, I'm shaking. This is awful. It's still kind of evolving. Uh, we haven't exactly had time to sit down and talk to everyone that was involved and everything that uh, may have taken place. So that's going to take us some time. Police say the gunman then barricaded himself inside and continued shooting at random over the course of about five hours. SWAT officers worked to negotiate with the man before he was arrested around midnight. And we do not know if the gunman was injured and police have not yet released his identity. Reporting live in Richardson, Shannon Murray on Good Day. Well, Saul is uh, some ga gathering some information at the apartment complex where this tragedy occurred. All right, what are you hearing, Saul? Yeah, well, we are a lot closer to the crime scene and where Shannon was. Investigators are still processing the scene. It is here behind me here. They have several buildings and the parking areas, the parking lots, if you will, next to those buildings. Cordendov, it is a huge section that is off limits right now as a crime scene investigators process in the scene. Uh, this building here behind me, that is where uh, investigators are focusing this investigation. That is where the suspect was involved in a standoff with police. It is built Building 14. Now, because there were so many shots fired, it's going to take crime scene investigators a while to finish processing the scene. They are waiting for daybreak, for some light uh, to be able to look for that evidence. I spoke with one resident who came home from work yesterday but was told that she could not get anywhere near the area, near the building, because she because of course everything was that was happening she didn't get back into her apartment which is across the way from building 14 until one o'clock this morning after the suspect surrendered after police made that arrest uh, at this point uh, police have not released the name of that civilian victim a uh, plano pd by the way is helping richardson police uh, process the scene uh, they are here and they will be here i'm told the uh, spokesman for the plano police department say you know they do this in a time when and, you know, the Richardson police officers, they are here uh, mourning the loss of one of their own. And so they are yeah. here to help out any way they can because they went through it back in 2007. They know what these officers are going through. And so, again, Plano PD helping Richardson with this investigation. Reporting live, Saul Garza for Good Day. All right, thank you. And officers in Richardson are paying their respects after learning about the death of one of their own. Dan Godwin is live at the Richardson Police Headquarters. And Tim, we have been watching officers with this department arrive to begin the 6 a.m. shift. It's a vivid reminder that while they are hurting and feeling a sense of loss, the work of protecting this city and serving its citizens continues no matter what. Now, after the officer was shot last night, he was taken to Medical City Plano. At that hospital, there were police officers from Richardson and other departments and law enforcement agencies from around North Texas in a show of support. Officers could be seen sometimes comforting one another. At times, groups of officers would enter the hospital together and they were there when the sad news was announced. Now, sometime later, the body of the fallen officer was placed in a van so it could be transferred to the county medical examiner. After that solemn process was carried out, there was a procession of law enforcement vehicles to serve as an escort. Many of the vehicles had lights flashing. Now, once the van arrived at the ME's office in McKinney, 
There were officers there standing at attention, saluting as the flag draped body of the fallen officer was removed from the transport van, taken into the medical examiner's office. There was a tweet put out by the Richardson Police Department that read, in part, we are confirming that we have lost one of our own. And the message continues, we ask for your prayers during this tragedy. Reporting live at Richardson PD, Dan Godwin on Good Day. Thank you, Dan. Well, Governor Greg Abbott posting his uh, condolences on Twitter saying, the hearts and soul of Texas mourn with you. He added, your loss is a loss to all law enforcement and everyone in our great state. Abbott promised Texas will honor the lost officer with the dignity he deserves.